Spider-Bird. I'm sorry. I was trying to summon um, the, the live action Spider Verse, but <laughs> all right. So, big week. Um, where do I even start? Obviously, the biggest thing that's been happening this week is talks of Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire coming back through prize of roles, respectively, as Spider Man. Um, <laughs> it's been a wild. It's been a wild week. Uh, where do I even begin? So, actually, I actually want to touch up on Electro real quick. Um, I know I've been talking about it the last couple of videos a lot, and I think it's something very important to touch upon. A lot of people have been claiming that this Electro is not going to be the is not going to be the same Electro as the one we saw in the Amazing Spider Man Two. That is a fact that they are trying to put out there. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if this is a new version version of Electro and I don't know if this is a version that we've already seen. I honestly don't know any of those things. However, it is very important to note that with J. Jonah Jameson, because a lot of people try to compare this to the J. Jonah Jameson thing with J.K. Simmons about they brought him in because a lot of people wanted him to be J. Jonah Jameson again, which is true. A lot of us wanted J.K. Simmons to reprise that role. I wanted it. Everyone else wanted it. Even the non Raimi fans, they all knew that J.K. Simmons did a fantastic job as J. Jonah Jameson. No one can take that away. So that's there. That's why J.K. Simmons was J. Jonah Jameson once again in MCU. MCU Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, actually, Mark Webb was actually considering getting J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson back in the Amazing Spider-Man days. It was it, it was more easy to accept a new Spider-Man than somebody who uh, can outdo you know J.K. Simmons in that role. He is so iconic. Uh, it's really difficult. So that that's something really we uh, talked about because I love that character. He's obviously he poses such an interesting dilemma for Spider-Man. Um, I'm, I'm dancing around your question, really, uh, <laughs> because the answer is I don't know. But probably the yeah, I, I think you can. I think you can expect to see that in the future. So it's not a surprise that they chose J.K. Simmons for that. As for Electro, he wasn't a fan favorite. Not saying that I didn't like him. I enjoyed him, and a lot of people did enjoy him. A lot of people didn't, however. But he wasn't this iconic role of like, yes, Jamie Fox should be Electro once again. That wasn't the case with Jamie Fox. With Jamie Fox, is he played Electro? And that's it. A lot of people enjoyed it. Same thing would go for the lizard. You know, it'd be so weird if they get the same guy to play the lizard again. It's not just like a oh he played a really good job. No, it's it, there has to be something there, and that's the thing with, with Jamie Foxx's Electro. That one, why Jamie Foxx specifically to play Electro once again? It has to mean something, and it isn't a fan service thing. It isn't a big iconic role that Jamie Foxx did. No, this was just a villain that he played, and and, and him being in the MCU as Electro once again uh, just proves that it, this is in fact the same Electro. Now, I could be wrong. I'm just saying that these are things to really look out for, but I could be terribly wrong of this. One of the things I did notice that they pointed out to try to cover it up is the fact that like uh, Jamie Foxx said that he's not going to be yellow and green this time around. That is true. I, I do highly believe that he's not going to be blue and he's going to be green and yellow this time. But if you think about it, if he crossed multiverses and this, let's say, for example, this is the first character to ever do that in the Marvel universe or whatever, there, there, there could be some side effects of him doing that, you know, going from one universe to another, these colors could change. They're pretty sure there's some going to be some example there. And they're probably not even going to acknowledge it till the end of the movie, maybe some post credit scene where, where Electro comes out and he's like, okay, this is the different universe or whatever. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But this does bring on to the whole Spider-Verse thing. I don't think the world is ready for a Spider-Verse. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me explain why. Basically, if you think about it, I'm actually talking about the real the real world right now the whole world is undergoing this huge thing people are scared to go to the movie theaters they're scared to actually go out and do a lot of things movie theaters still being closed in los angeles and new york it's it's it's, incra it's crazy it's insane and a lot of people are still scared to go to the movie theater so now making a film this big would be the wrong time in my opinion i feel like if something like this were to happen without a whatever's going on in the world then i think it would break a bunch of records and people would go up drop their money doesn't matter they would do whatever it takes to go see this film that's how big of a film we're talking about however since it's all going around i don't think this is going to bring a lot of money into the box office the way it should because of the whole thing people are so scared unless find a cure or whatever we're not going to see this film break records anytime soon and i think that's the the downfall of it and that, it breaks my heart because i want to see a movie with toby mcguire andrew garfield and tom holland i want a movie with those characters to break records but i don't think it's going to happen if we're still going under this thing now another thing now talking about the film itself i don't think a spider-verse film should be the film for mcu spider-man 3. i feel like they should set it up in mcu spider-man 3 by slowly introducing the sinister six let's say we got electro now uh we got scorpion we got vulture we got mysterio we got four people all we need is two more people and guess what venom the venom spinoff film came out in 2018 Morbius is going to come out. So we already have two more characters that could just fill up this gap of six characters. 
this could be really good and this could be a perfect setup for mcu spider-man 4 and that one should be a spider-verse film and if you think about it mcu spider-man 4 toby mcguire in it spider-man 4 Mm -hmm. it, it, I don't think it's time for a live action Spider-Verse. Yeah, I think I do want it. Don't get me wrong. I do really want one, but I do think it should be properly set up with some teasers and some teases inside of MCU Spider-Man 3. Not a setup like in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but some teases of like, okay, this is what's happening. Electro's here. He fights him. Electro gets defeated, but he's not dead because electricity doesn't die. It just goes somewhere else. I didn't say that. Jamie Foxx said that. And so I think at the end of the film, like a post credit scene, that's where they should introduce the multiverse and Peter and Doctor Strange go around together to multiverses gathering. And then for the post credit scene, we see Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man come back, getting ready for MCU Spider-Man 4. I think that would be the best way. And by MCU Spider-Man 4, we should be in a more stable world where movie theaters are back and running and full you know, at full capacity and everything. So hopefully that is the case. I wish that it's what's going to happen. I don't want to rush this. I want this to go slow. I get it. They're trying to compete with um, the Flash's multiverse now in the in the in the in the DCU. But if we just hold on a little bit longer. We could honestly get probably the best Spider-Man film of all time, possibly, if not Spider-Man to remain king. I'll, I'll say that. So yeah, it's a little it's a little different video than usually. I don't usually do a video like this where it was, nothing's popping up. But um, I just thought it was really important to discuss because a lot of people are thinking like, yes, this is it. This is it. And, and, and it really hurts to see that. And I hope this isn't it. I hope this isn't the case. And I hope we get to see a much, a much better version of the Spider-Verse in live action. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And remember, guys, keep on swinging.